Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. And this is a follow-up to the story earlier about the Croydon police officer that was shot dead in the custody suite by a prisoner at the time. We broke the story this morning. They have now officially named the police officer that was killed as Matu Ratana. He was a New Zealand native that had lived in the United Kingdom for the majority of his life. He was a 54 year old police officer and had served with the Metropolitan Police for nearly 30 years. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cressida Dick said that he was a very much loved officer and he was known to have a big heart and he was a lovely man that, who respected his colleagues, officers, staff and of course members of the public. He leaves behind a partner and an adult son from a previous relationship. He was known as Matt and he studied town planning at Massey University in the city of Palmerston in New Zealand's North Island. And he attended high school in the same city as well. As well as being a serving police officer, Matt was the head coach for East Grinstead rugby club in a video from their website he explains having previously competed at national level and one of his goals was to return the team to the london leagues i'm matt ratner head coach based in the heart of sussex we have a long history of growing grassroots rugby whilst developing talented players to a national and international level having previously competed at a national level one of our key goals this season is to return to the London Leagues. We took great strides in achieving that last season by finishing runners-up in the Sussex Cup as well as attaining a promotional playoff. Likewise, our Colts team was undefeated and on track to win both Sussex Premiership and Colts competitions. With excellent facilities and a talented coaching group, we are committed to providing players with a fun and challenging performance pathway. We believe in developing the right values and cultures both on and off the pitch, and that better people make better players. Matt was described as an inspiration by a friend who knew him from the rugby club together. The 27 year old who only gave his name as Paul said we all looked up to him on the field and off the rugby field. He always found a way to cheer us up and he went from training one day to going to the police station the next. He was a few months away from retirement as well and they said that he was looking forward to this. As someone that's grew up in an estate and has been at the other hand of bad policing, we do have to bear in mind that not all police officers are bad. And from the sounds of what he did for the kids in the local community, helping them, training them to do rugby and to try and do good things in the, in the community, and it definitely seems like he's missed by a lot of people. And in relation to the actual incident as well, this happened at Croydon Custody Centre in South London. We have confirmed that the man who shot this officer dead was 23 years old. And it has been reported that there was doing a COVID check inside the police station. And that the gunman may have been on an anti-extremism prevent programme. The suspect has been assessed and having his temperature and details taken as, as part of new booking rules amid coronavirus pandemic. After arriving at the custody suite, he shot the officer at point blank range in the chest. At quarter past two in the morning following his arrest on suspicion of possessing ammunition. Officers and paramedics then treated the officer who is said to have been near retirement, at the scene and he was taken to hospital where he died later on. The arrested man is still meant to be alive in hospital after turning the gun on himself after he had been arrested by a special constable and a normal police officer that was on patrol after he was seen behaving strangely. They searched him and allegedly found ammunition on him before handcuffing him and driving him in the patrol car to the police station. The man is thought to have been in the holding cell and the officer who died opened the door to get his personal details and go through COVID-9 procedures. It is believed the suspect then produced the gun and shot the officer. Commissioner Cressida Dick said early indications are that the suspect shot himself. This has not been established as fact and the man remains in a critical condition in hospital. Scotland Yard has not confirmed if he was on the radar of the anti-terror police. Following the claims made by BBC News, 
It is believed he was referred to the Prevent Programme. This programme is a government-led multi-agency scheme involving the Home Office, Counterterrorism Police and other authorities. And this aims to prevent vulnerable people being drawn into extremism. Community leader Donna Turner described the officer shot dead this morning as an intelligent and funny person. She told the media he was a good person. He helped me setting up workshops in the local area. I will work with anyone that helps to make a change and he was one of them people. So this story has developed at a very fast pace and of course this is going to be devastating news to the family and friends of this police officer. I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow us on social media as well at Scar City Studios. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. Is a family in London and across the United Kingdom. And today... We police are all mourning a great loss. I would like to thank our officers and the staff, together with colleagues from the London Ambulance Service, the London Air Ambulance, and all our medical and hospital colleagues, who I know did everything. A murder investigation is underway and officers are working at several crime scenes to secure evidence and to establish the facts of what happened.